Hey guys! Welcome to my channel. Did you know that China is internationally acclaimed as the infrastructure maniac? This nickname isn't derogatory. It reflects the awe of the international community towards China's infrastructure construction capabilities. China has gained global recognition for its ambitious mega-projects tailored to accommodate its rapidly growing population. From constructing highways capable of serving as airplane runways to dams that dwarf even the legendary Noah's Ark, China has pushed the boundaries of construction to astonishing limits. Today, we embark on a journey through China's gargantuan mega-projects that have reshaped the nation leaving us all wondering if they were secretly competing with giants from fairy tales. Buckle up for an awe-inspiring ride. Before we delve into these remarkable projects, be sure to subscribe to Machine Eye. Currently, only 5% of our viewers are subscribed. Help us reach a 10% subscription rate. Your support means the world to us. Thank you all so much. While China every day is making amazing progress, achieving real results for technology, infrastructure, improving the nation building and working hard to improve the standard of living for the people. China next door neighbor India on the west border is always busy with their ton of boastful hypes, self-praise on their leadership, chanting superpower, dreaming of replacing China as world manufacturing country, but with not much real achievement, progress and result. For instance, India plans to construct a railway bridge taller than the Eiffel Tower, named the Chenab Railway Bridge, located in the Jammu and Kashmir region. The bridge is designed with a lifespan of 120 years and a height of 359 meters, surpassing the Eiffel Tower by 35 meters. Construction on this bridge began as early as 2002, with the original completion target set for 2009. However, it was abruptly halted in 2008. The project remained at a standstill. In 2010, construction resumed, with Indian media claiming it would be finished by 2016. However, reality proved astonishing. By 2016, only the Bok Bridge Pier of the Chenab Railway Bridge had been completed. Full construction resumed in 2017, and due to various reasons, the planned completion was further delayed to 2019. This series of setbacks has led to a prolonged delay in the completion of the Chenab Railway Bridge. The primary reasons include India's weak overall capacity, coupled with the high cost of construction materials, exacerbating India's already challenging economic situation. Furthermore, India lacked experience and technical expertise in the construction process resulting in frequent issues and a decline in construction speed. Ultimately, the Grand Bridge took 21 years to complete, and it is expected to be operational by 2024. In summary, although India's Chenab Bridge incorporates high-tech materials and advanced construction techniques, surpassing China's infrastructure prowess remains a formidable challenge. In comparison, China's construction of the Three Gorges Dam, a hydraulic project, has attracted widespread attention and is hailed as an unparalleled feat in hydraulic engineering. Beside they still have the gut and not ashamed to belittle and criticizing China infrastructures are built like tofu. China's success must have made them very upset, jealous and frustrating that many of their media channels, know a day we don't see negative news, fake news and propaganda reports bashing and mocking China like a dog barking at the neighbor daily. But the China just ignored the dog barking noises and keep moving forward to get their business done to achieve what they aim for. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Firstly, let's take a look at the super bridge built in China at a cost of nearly 800 million, the Yachi Bridge. This grand bridge stands atop a cliff at an impressive elevation of 434 meters, with a total length of 1,200 meters. So, what was the level of difficulty in constructing this bridge? With a magnificent main span of 436 meters and a total length of 971 meters, the Yachi Bridge is not only the world's largest continuous rigid frame bridge with a steel concrete composite deck and a cable-stayed basket handle arch, but also the longest span high-speed railway bridge of its kind. 
The construction of the main tower's reinforcing steel used a groundbreaking method where steel was bound and formed into shape on the ground before being lifted and installed on the tower columns. The hydraulic climbing formwork employed a system with fewer pole rods, enhancing the appearance and quality of the tower columns' concrete. The connection of the bridge's steel truss arches involved precision welding and bolting, demanding extremely high machining and assembly accuracy controlled to within millimeters. Any deviation exceeding two millimeters could result in misalignment of the bolted joints. The entire bridge required approximately 130,000 cubic meters of concrete, and the steel used in the truss beams amounted to over 16,000 tons. In the gorge where the bridge is situated, instantaneous wind speeds can reach up to force 10. The cable tower's top is 110 floors above the Yachi River surface, posing extremely high construction safety risks. American engineers boldly claimed that China couldn't complete such a project due to its complexity. However, Chinese engineers overcame numerous challenges, successfully completing the Yachi Bridge, showcasing the dominance of Chinese bridge construction technology and marking a significant milestone in the development of the chengdu Gyeong High-Speed Railway. Let's continue to explore one of the ongoing epic engineering projects in China, the Pingla Grand Canal. The canal starts at the mouth of the Shajing River in the West Jinsi Reservoir, spanning approximately 135 kilometers in total length. The overall route of the project is divided into four sections, Shaping River Section, Watershed Ridge Section, Qingzhou Mainstream Section, and Estuary Section. Among these, the watershed ridge section requires manual excavation, connecting to the Qingzhou mainstream through Luwu Town in Lingshan County, Qingzhou. The waterway is constructed to a first-class standard for inland water navigation, allowing for the passage of 5,000-ton inland vessels. The Grand Canal eventually flows into the Bibu Gulf through the Shajing Estuary. Upon completion, this project will significantly shorten the maritime route for goods from the southwest region of China by over 560 kilometers compared to exiting through Guangzhou. This new canal, resembling a soaring dragon, is a crucial component of the West Land Sea New Channel and marks the first inland canal since the establishment of the People's Republic of China. To construct this supersized canal, the Chinese government has invested a staggering 72.7 billion yuan. In the process, Chinese engineers are tasked with excavating approximately 329 million cubic meters of earth and rock, a quantity three times that of the Three Gorges project. The excavated materials will be utilized for purposes such as land reclamation, ecological restoration, and infrastructure development, contributing to China's sustainable development. The Pingla Grand Canal can be described as a monumental canal construction project. On the construction site, vehicles rumble back and forth with the deafening roar of machinery, showcasing the significant importance China places on this canal's construction. With a total length of about 140 kilometers, the Pingla Grand Canal can accommodate vessels of up to 5,000 tons. Once completed, the canal will not only facilitate navigation but also serve functions such as water supply, irrigation, flood prevention, and improvement of the water's ecological environment. Throughout history, the Chinese people have never shied away from challenges. Millennia ago, in an era with underdeveloped construction technology, China built the Great Wall, a wonder of the world. In modern times, despite being besieged by Western powers, China successfully constructed the Jingjiang Railway and the Qiantang River Bridge. These remarkable feats remind us that if miracles had a color, it would undoubtedly be Chinese red. Xiangxi River Bridge is a pioneering bridge in China with a loot-shaped design. The bridge is a single tower, single cable surface inclined tower cable-stayed bridge, with a total length of 364 meters, 
a main span of 238 meters, and a tower height of 126 meters. The bridge tower adopts a loot-shaped design with a 10 degrees inclination along the bridge axis, and the tower body transitions smoothly through the combination of ellipses, circular curves, and straight segments, making it both structurally complex and aesthetically pleasing. The bridge is located in the Three Gorges Reservoir area, where geological conditions are complex, including karst caves and faults, placing it at the forefront of similar bridges in terms of comprehensive construction difficulty in the country. The Huto Ng Yangtze River Bridge represents the highest level of bridge construction in China. It is also the world's first dual-use cable-stayed bridge with a main span exceeding 1 km. The total length of the bridge is 11,072 meters, and the main bridge adopts a double-tower cable-stayed design with a main span of 1,092 meters. Up to now, the project has consumed 480,000 tons of steel, equivalent to 12 bird's nest stadiums, and 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete, equivalent to eight national grand theaters. The bridge has 432 cable stays with a total weight of 17,747 tons, using 2,000 megapascal high-strength zinc aluminum coated steel wires for the first time in the world. After completion, the bridge can withstand the impact of a typhoon of intensity 13 and a 100,000-ton class vessel. The immense scale, high standards, and great difficulty of the project represent the highest level of similar bridge construction in China and even the world. It's hard to imagine how generation after generation of builders overcame numerous challenges such as topography, geology, hydrology, meteorology, materials, structures, and navigation. Even in economically challenging times, China continued to create new technologies, repeatedly achieving breakthroughs. The nearly one million bridges bear witness to the arduous journey China has traveled. Success in bridge construction not only plays a crucial role in domestic development but also has a positive impact on global bridge construction, providing valuable insights and experiences. Well, that's all for today's video. What do you think of these mega projects in China? Have you ever thought about visiting them in person? If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about mega projects in China or around the world, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.